Hey folks, hope you're well. So this week I'm rebuilding this. It's an old Herman Miller Eames chair, an original that I've had for years. It's kind of been in and out of apartments and hasn't really seen a ton of love. It's got a bunch of jean marks, a bunch of weird stains in it. So my plan is actually to rebuild this. I think I want to just take the cover off altogether, go straight to the fiberglass that's underneath, and then throw a rocking base underneath it. And maybe throw some skateboards into the rocker there. So we'll see a quick build this week and uh, it should be fun. So here we go. Now that we finally got the chair sanded right down to the fiberglass itself, which sanding fiberglass completely sucks by the way, I'm itchy all over. I actually sanded a bit more of the fiberglass just to get that orange tint and I've added this into the total boat epoxy that I'm now going to add into each of these extra holes that I'm not necessarily sure where they came from, but I'm hopefully going to get a close match and plug up all these holes here. Hey folks, 
So I hope you enjoyed that. So I was basically able to take this chair from my basement and finally make it into something I'm pretty proud of and something I'll be able to use for my future living room and stuff. So I wanted to talk actually about the cost of this restoration. Uh, I bought this chair for about $100 years ago. I got a rocker base from a store in town for about $90, wax for about $15, and also the shock mounts, of course. The shock mounts were about $40. So all in all, this overall build was about $245. When you look at places like Design Within Reach, uh, one of these things brand new costs about $800 before taxes and everything. So I think this is a pretty sweet deal and I'm pretty hyped on it. Lastly, of course, I was supposed to put out the Broyhill build about a week ago. Uh, I unfortunately have a little bit of a technical difficulty on that one. Uh, the hinges are kind of a little too shallow and stuff, but I did end up getting a solution, so hopefully that will come up in about a week or so from now. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for tuning into this. Like, subscribe, all the things. Hope you all are staying safe and doing well. More to come. Peace.